We rave for Hollywood. Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man. This is your WIMZ.com movie review. This week your votes at WIMZ.com overwhelmingly sent me to see The Town. It stars Ben Affleck, John Hamm, Jeremy Renner, and Rebecca Hall. The story of a uh, neighborhood of uh, Boston where, according to a card at the beginning of the credits, more bank robbers and armored car robbers come from than in any other part of the country. Uh, the uh, story is of a gang of four guys led by Doug McKay, who's Ben Affleck's character, and Jeremy Renner, who uh, plays a guy named James Coughlin. These four guys pull off very well-timed, very elaborate robberies that uh, have a great deal of detail to them. Uh, they get their targets from a guy named Fergie who runs a florist shop, but he's just a hood. Uh, and that's played by Pete Postlewaite. He's kind of the crime lord over this gang. During one of these robberies, uh, Ben Affleck's character helps to calm down the bank manager played by Rebecca Hall. Her name's Claire in the movie. Uh, when she gets real nervous about opening the safe and uh, he calms her down and helps her to figure out uh, to, to open the safe so that nobody gets hurt, although Jeremy Renner's character is a bit of a wild card and he likes to smack people around, including the assistant manager at the bank who gets hit with a rifle butt. After that uh, robbery, they're afraid Claire might be able to give some information to the FBI, so the plan is to just keep an eye on her and see what she does. However, Affleck uh, begins a relationship with her and it begins to blossom into something more as he learns more about her and he's also looking to get out of the business. But there's one more job they got to do. Fergie sends them on a job to, and this is almost sacrilegious to say, uh, rob Fenway Park in Boston after a four game stand with the Yankees because they figure with all the concessions uh, that are going to be sold and all the tickets for a four game series with the dreaded Yankees, uh, there's probably over $3 million they could get away with. The movie's really good. It's very, very intense and gritty. There's a, a lot of the flavor of Boston, especially in the accents of some of the characters, so much so that I had a hard time understanding all of the dialogue. Maybe that was just me where I was sitting. I might have been sitting in a dead spot in the theater. Um, but it was a little difficult to understand what they were all saying. Uh, but otherwise, it's a really good movie. Now, the ending is, I thought, a little clean. And by clean, it's just a matter of what the future holds. Uh, I'm not going to give any way, give away any more than that because I know how you guys hate that. But I, I felt like it was just a little too neat. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a very, very good movie. Uh, it is uh, intense and dark, but also has a sweet side to it. Uh, Affleck's character, even though he robs banks and armored cars and holds automatic weapons in people's faces, he's really a decent guy. It's just the life he's been brought up to find as normal. There's also an issue between Affleck and his father, played by Chris Cooper, who's doing time for uh, murder um, and Affleck's mother who left the scene back when the character was six years old. It is, it is a, it's a very complicated story that Affleck as the director and who also helped write the script it has managed to keep all these threads going in such a way that you can follow them. It isn't. It isn't at all. It isn't at all complicated to follow, even though looking back on it, the story is pretty complicated. It's really good work, and I think you'll enjoy it. And I'm giving it four guitars. Go to wimz.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the movie. I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, you can feel free to send them to me at standthemovieman at att.net, and you can also follow me on Twitter at movieman Till next time, see y'all.